I bought a USB-C to USB-A adapter for connecting my decades old devices to MacBook Pro and Mac display. Would it work? I choose USB-A female to USB-C adapter in aluminum body. It supports up to 3 ampere charging, it's more than my old devices need. Solid aluminum body translates to me as durability and without any extra cables to tangle on my desk. I plug my old USB-A cable right in the adapter. Now I plug the adapter in the USB-C port on my MacBook Pro. It all fits nicely. I've been using this Blue Yeti microphone for recording voiceover for all my videos in the past decade or so. The original USB-A cable is still good and it fits in the adapter. The Blue Yeti mic is a plug-and-play device, it should work without any additional software. You can see it powers up right away. It turns off when I unplug it. It works with Final Cut. Though I have to switch in the MacBook settings from the original built-in microphones to the external Yeti mic. And it works just like that with DaVinci Resolve 19 that uh, I fall in love with for making videos in 2025. I will share with you how I use DaVinci Resolve in future videos. I use the free no subscription version of DaVinci Resolve 19 and the mic works with it great. You can see the audio recording on the screen as I speak and you can hear and judge the quality of the sound. And the background music in this video was recorded on uh, GarageBand on my very old Keystation 49 piano MIDI keyboard. I connect the piano keyboard to the Mac display through the same USB-C to USB-A adapter. Have fun and happy you feel it in this time.